This is Daria Shabbat with Corporate Profile reporting on the news for Thursday, January 31st, 2013. Today on CP Reports, deadly storms move east after striking the south, China hackers attack the New York Times, and Washington is looking to hire a pot expert and gets hundreds of applications. Here in NYC, some of you may have noticed the monsoon weather accompanied by extreme rain downfall and gusts of wind last night, and forecasters said severe thunderstorms were expected to continue this morning in the east as the front slide out over the Atlantic in coming hours. In the southeast, two people did not survive the severe storms that were crusading there. A flash flood warning was issued for much of the nation's capital, and in Tennessee, at least six other tornadoes were reported statewide. Mother Nature is not joking around right now. Stay safe, everyone. Apparently, hackers from China have persistently infiltrated the New York Times for the last four months. The attacks coincided cited with a New York Times report on the family of Chinese Premier Wen Jibao, who had amassed a multi-billion dollar fortune of $2.7 billion. The hackers used methods which have been associated with the Chinese military to target the emails of the report's writer. China's foreign ministry dismissed the accusations as groundless, but Beijing has been accused by several governments, foreign companies and organizations of carrying out extensive cyber espionage for many years, seeking to gather information and to control China's image abroad. It seems China is very sensitive about reports on its leaders, particularly when it comes to their wealth, and they should be. Keeping a communist regime under control where everything is supposed to be fair share is definitely not a walk in the park, especially when nothing really is fair share. Now this job description requests a very unique mix of skills five years of regulatory experience, preferably with a law degree and extensive knowledge of all things marijuana. But it didn't stop dozens of people from turning out Wednesday in flannel and suits and ponytails and hemp necklaces to find out more about becoming Washington State's official marijuana consultant. As officials figure out how to regulate the state's newly legal marijuana, they are hiring an advisor to fill in the gaps of the typical bureaucrat's education. How cannabis is best grown, dried, tested, labeled, packaged, regulated, and cooked into brownies. This really must sound like a dream job to many pot consumers out there, and we at Corporate Profile can't wait to find out who the lucky job taker will be. Washington and Colorado became the first states to pass laws legalizing the recreational use of marijuana and setting up systems of state licensed growers, processors, and retail stores where adults over 21 can walk in and buy up to an ounce of heavily taxed cannabis. Both Washington and Colorado are well on their way to become the richest states in the U.S. I'm Daria Shabbat with Corporate Profile. Make sure to visit our website at corporateprofile.com for more top headlines from around the world as well as interesting business profiles. Post your comments, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.